I gotta think about this for a second. Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay. Just give, just give me some time. I'm just. Okay. Do you need another clap? <laughs> just clap. Just clap again. Clap again. All that right. Was pitiful. <laughs> Chad, <laughs> I had the perfect introduction lined up. <laughs> it was gonna be epic, the best one yet, and you went and ruined it. <laughs> so I'm Nate. This is Doofus, and that's a Dumbo. <laughs> and welcome back to episode nine of the Lost in Thought podcast. Oh no, that went perfectly. <laughs> Episode Whoa, nine. <laughs> nine. Nine. So we screwed up about uh, 57 times before we yeah. said, you know, to be fair, I don't think we've ever really screwed up. No, on our intro like <laughs> that. Our intro. Usually we go, we jump straight in and just go with whatever happens. Yeah. So this has been. But this is the first this time is the that first Jeff time forgot to turn ever, on the main camera. So. <laughs> ever happened. Yeah. yeah. Nine or more than nine episodes and like 14 episodes in. And. First mistake. I'm I'm proud of us. You know we're what? on a roll. We usually screw Not everything up. <laughs> bad. True. We screw everything up, but the intro usually. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's true. Anyways, all right, Jeff. You got a mad take for us today? I got a very mad take. No, Which yeah. one? Uh, um. Is it part of your world or sick now? We're gonna <laughs> hit random until we find something we like. <laughs> That defeats the perp. I, we could. Random. Oh, that's oh Facebook. Uh, it's a Facebook ad. Oh, that's no. not a mad take. That's pretty random. Robert uh, Jordan. What? What? I don't like it. Okay, real quick. Let's do this one. I'm just going to press random word on everyone, and we're going to see <laughs> what it says. All right, let's go. And then we'll go. do a real one <laughs> okay. with us. Let's do totally random Totally on this random. One. Oh, my goodness. Adhesive. Go mad. Robert Jordan is probably most known for his adhesive series, The Wheel of Time, consisting of the books The Crop of the... This isn't even that good. Glimpse. This is terrible. The Genome Catfish Root. This is why you don't double random. That was too random. Fire extreme extinguishers of heaven. The procurator of chaos <laughs> almost makes sense. Yeah, literally, all of this aren't even that bad. Sounds like my wow character. <laughs> <laughs> the procurator of chaos. <laughs> okay. Well, that was dumb. Never Random. Couldn't catch me dead playing well. Einstein quoted. Okay, here we go. That's more like <laughs> it. This is uh, it. Brian, adjective. <laughs> uh, purple. <laughs> no, no, you're absolutely. banned from purple. <laughs> uh, short. <laughs> short. Um, I'll go purple. No, you're banned from purple. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> Let's go with uh, nuclear bombs. <laughs> oh my what? God. Nuclear. I mean, Einstein was on the Manhattan Project, right? Brian, noun. St- st- Einstein. <laughs> it's that's a proper a, noun. That's a proper noun, you dummy. Uh, it's like an infinitive. <laughs> it's an infinitive. I think there's like an indefinite. <laughs> guitar. Gortar. Gortar. How about a keytar? Let's see. <laughs> A True. noun. Um, almond. Go with flashy. 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 <laughs> Brian? Noun, plural. Um, RC cars. RC car. Z. It's plural. Oh, that's right. Z. <laughs> <laughs> with a Z. Yeah. <laughs> Noun plural. Let's see. Washing machines. Have we done that one before? I don't think so. Sounds familiar. Have we? A noun. Hmm. Let's go with a pebble. Pebble. An occupation, Brian. A doctor. (laughs) Doctor. Man, I wanted to say stripper so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Noun. 
Gotta uh, pay for that nursing degree. Yeah, <laughs> Somehow. Real. Gotta get through college. Now, let's see. Hmm, Ottoman. <laughs> Ottoman. I love how you looked around. <laughs> the room. There's, There's not a, even an Ottoman in it. Uh, right there. Oh, that, is that what that is? Technically, yeah. So technically considered an Ottoman? I didn't know what that's it was. That's what it was sold as. Oh. <laughs> Verbinate. Um. Gingerly. Wait, that's not a verb? Yeah. No, that's, like a, it's an, adverb. that's an adverb. That's describing a verb. Oh, I guess that's true. Because yeah, it's right. not an action word. You're right. You're 100% right. Let's disqualified. Go. Disqualified. Let's you get no more <laughs> words the rest oh, no. of the ad list. What's the rest of with? volume one? Um, <laughs> Your words are gone for the rest polish. of the volume. Polish. You gingerly polish. Polish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, social studies. Why'd you pick the worst one? <laughs> yeah, for real. No. Best one. Wix a G. Adjective ginger. No. Yeah, he... <laughs> just all hey, ginger based you remember, words you remember we were learned <laughs> about ginger. you remember we learned about uh, geography no were you, in the, were you in the class where we did the trench we learned about the trench warfare and stuff and we flipped no. the tables up and no. threw papers <laughs> at each other from across the classroom and like we were in two trenches and Wick participated by standing on top of a chair and saying that he was an airplane and started throwing paper bottles at us <laughs> He no, was, I was he, not a part of that class. He I, was a gunner I, in an airplane, and I he was, was making a gun and run through it. He just started throwing paper balls at everybody, <laughs> and I'm like, this is the best class ever. Was it, was it just like a world studies class? Or yeah, it was like, about, it was, we were learning about the world wars and about trench warfare. And, back to back champs. And the world wars. And we, so you know those big square tables that we had in the class. It was really back to back that we had. <laughs> that, at least but, World War II. You know the big, uh, <laughs> you know the big like square tables that we had? He f we flipped them all up and made trenches on both sides of the classroom. That's awesome. And then we he took like a ton of paper. We like took a bunch of paper balls, and we all got in our trenches, and we had the two sides of, the, you know, the allies and the Axis powers or whatever. And we were just were throwing... you an ally or were you the Axis powers? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Who were you a part of? Right? Who were you supporting? <laughs> Doesn't remember. <laughs> it's like, I, can, I don't oh, know. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so then we threw paper balls at each other from across the room, and then eventually, about halfway through, he stood up on a chair and was bombing people out of a plane with as a on a bombing run, nice. throwing throwing paper balls at people. And I'm like, this is the greatest class I've ever had in my life. That being said, that's the most I've ever learned about trench warfare. Yeah, I've been in those trenches. <laughs> so okay, what did you back. learn? Just about the concept of trench warfare. Okay. That was pretty much it. The that concept. was the entire time. <laughs> the okay. concept of what it was and, you know, not really how it was because we were in a classroom and not getting sick and dying. Yeah. And actually bombed. We were getting hit with paper <laughs> Yeah, I guess a real life example wouldn't have been as fun. <laughs> Probably not. It would have been a little bit Speaking more traumatizing. Of warfare, a noun, game green. <laughs> a noun, Nate. That's what I just said. What? Game, game green. green. Okay. <laughs> Brian. Verb ending in ing. Slipping. You got off the hook today. Yeah. Mm. We're back. Body part. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, 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 uh, um, I don't know what to say. Earlobe. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, what's oh, a good Nate, one? Nate, you get the occupation. You oh, can say yes. what you want it. Femur. Femur. Ah, uh, yes, exactly what I wanted. Mortician. <laughs> <laughs> Mortician. <laughs> Just like you planned to <laughs> say the first time. It's exactly how uh, I... Let's go, go mad. mad. This one is by Printer Friendly. <laughs> Man, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> He's, He's got a, a lot of good these. ones. <laughs> uh, wait, was it... Okay, just making sure that they weren't auto... Like, made into something else. Oh my goodness. Nate. So these are just Einstein quotes? Yeah. Any intelligent fool can make things short, more purple, and more violent. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it will take a touch of genius and a lot of nuclear <laughs> bombs. <laughs> bombs to move in the opposite guitar. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Reality is merely a or an almond. <laughs> Albeit a very flashy okay, one. Okay, I gotta say, let me stop you right there. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Reality not... is merely yeah. an almond. A or an almond. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Albeit a flashy <laughs> one. That makes sense. What, a flashy almond? I would agree <laughs> with that's exactly what life is. <laughs> a flashy, a flashy almond. almond. Yeah. Merely an almond. That is flashy. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's uh, nothing more, you, nothing would, less. Would, would you, <laughs> it is what it is. Would you care to elaborate? Oh, okay, okay, so it's just, it is what... I don't, yeah. I don't see how you... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just seeing an almond as being very plain nut. <laughs> yeah. Favorite nut, anyone? Oh, um. my... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm more of a D's fan. <laughs> What's a D? <laughs> but, you know, like, in all honesty, though, like, you got cashews, pistachios... You ever had Joe's? <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, what, what's Joe's? You have the very elusive ligament. <laughs> what's well, ligament? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, they're very plain, but you know, juxtaposed by, well, you know, are you going to go in somewhere? An and or or? Jeff, right? no, no, no elaboration on that. Okay. No, no, he doesn't. The he just RC stands by cars, that. Great, <laughs> excuse me. Great RC cars have often entered violent opposition from the weak washing machines. <laughs> True. Like, true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? You know, if you, you gotta hey, think. Hey, Sean, we gotta test this theory. Throw your. <laughs> we, you gotta think. A really nice RC car versus a very weak we, washing machine. Which would you want to have? That's true, Brian. Probably the wash. But it's weak. But it's weak. Versus a no, rock and an RC <laughs> car. I mean, this is... And we're not talking about Sean's, like, way I mean, better at the than very, Sean's. At the very least, you could sell the I'm nice like RC car like those... and get a good washing machine. That's true, which would then mean... <laughs> the wa- RC car, you are right, the RC car does seem like the right choice right. here. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Violent opposition. Okay. Te- technological progress is like a... And pebble, gosh dang it! Like it's like and pebble. pebble, in the hands of pathological doctor, <laughs> of a <laughs> pathological doctor. Excuse me. Okay, no, this ottoman won't work. <laughs> How on earth are you ever going to po- pull? Wait, polish? <laughs> Why did <it> capitalize that? <laughs> I, 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 I said polish, I, but then, then you joke Polish, and I see the capital <laughs> P. So <laughs> polish in terms of chemistry. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's restart this for a second. No, this ottoman won't work. How on earth are you ever going to polish in terms of chemistry and social studies? So important, a bi- biological... Th- <laughs> no, that's a, as, 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 what as, love. As, 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 as what name? Sopping. <laughs> saturated. <laughs> just absolutely dripping. What love. The release of gangrene... <laughs> We're just moving on from that one. <laughs> yeah, straight into gangrene. The release of gangrene power has changed everything except our way of slipping the solution <laughs> well, to this problem. Life's in the femur of mankind. <laughs> if only I had known, I should have become a or an mortician. <laughs> <laughs> I should have yeah, after become... all the bombs you're dropping, yeah, yeah. Sir Einstein. He's yeah. got to move opposite of the guitar. <laughs> True. <laughs> got to. I think you'll get those. enough force. <laughs> <laughs> to be equal in a force equal and opposite of that of the guitar. That's gonna be a pretty fast guitar. It's a pretty fast <laughs> guitar. It's not bad. All right. all right. Not bad at all. What are we moving to next? Uh, what I think? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Nate about died. So that this is actually a true story. Okay. So moving on Did after our, just our clarify, meditating. the next one is not a true story. It is a true story. <laughs> Both are true stories. So, the other night, this was actually last Sunday, after we installed Brian's fireplace, or fireplace, excuse me, fire pit in yeah. his backyard, which is, why don't I say, bussin, really bussin. nice. We did a phenomenal job. I'm going to go ahead and pat myself on the back for that we one. We did really We can good. pat ourselves on the back for that one. Just pat yourself on the back. Yeah. Very good. And so, anyways, 
that's besides the point. I just wanted to throw that out there. You know, hit us up. Big Sean's Concrete. We'll, we're going to be Big <laughs> Sean's on Concrete. We lay it flat. We'll lay it flat. Lay it flat. <laughs> Install you some, <laughs> some fire pits. Anyways, uh, call it 1-800-479-6789. Don't actually call that number. That's not, not, it's not a real number, that's not a real but number. if you want to call it, we'll see where it goes. Let they, us know. Put it know. in the comments. Yeah, put it in the comments below. Anyways, so it was that night I got home. Super tired. I mean, it was like 105 degrees when we were yeah. installing this, this fire pit. And so, we built a fire after. And then we built yeah. the fire. Well, we built the well, fire, we built the fire and decided to burn the scrap wood and stuff to get rid of it. So in Because it wouldn't fit yeah. in the fire pit. So then we were digging a hole beside a fire. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was horrible. But long story short, it was exhausting, right? And I got home at about 11 o'clock and went straight to bed. Well... I wake up at around, or I was woken up around 1.30 to my sister, like, crouching, like, so I fell asleep on the couch, and my sister was, like, crouched behind the couch, like, so, like, the way that my, the furniture is laid out, it's like, there's, like, a window in our living room, and then there's a couch facing the television, right? So, she came around on the front of the couch and crouched down in, in front of it, right, where I would have been sleeping, so facing me. And she is like, Nate, somebody is trying to break in. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I, I'm like, I'm Nate's, still dazed. So Nate's like, like, no, you're fine. Go back to bed. <laughs> and she's like, somebody was wiggling the door handle and trying to get in. And I'm like, first off, what are you doing up? Second off, why do I smell garlic bread? First off, she was up at 1.30 in the morning making garlic bread <laughs> in our air fryer. <laughs> Sounds like a good woman. <laughs> A great oh idea. <laughs> Anyways, sounds Jeff. like Jeff every three days a week. <laughs> what? Uh uh-uh. You stop buying garlic bread, but you used to. Garlic. That was the IUPUI thing. Don't bring it. Up. <laughs> you see, I knew it was a thing. Three in the morning, and I would just say cheeseburger time, <laughs> and, I would, and make garlic bread. <laughs> and I would make two cheeseburgers and garlic bread. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dude, she's Brian and was there. Garlic bread <laughs> and Pepsi. That's an interesting combination. Three Very in the morning. D- it was incredible. <laughs> you need to go check your cholesterol. <laughs> oh, I'm so much healthier than I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, she's like, "Yeah, Nate, you got to go check it out." And I'm like, "Why don't you just get Dad and do it? <laughs> I'm tired right now." And she's like, "No, somebody is trying to break in." I'm too scared to go across the room and wake up dad. I'm like, fine. So I get up and I, so I peek out the, so like there's, it was our back door, which she claimed somebody was breaking into. And so how our house is laid out, I went across from the living room where I was sleeping into the dining room. And then there's like, like multiple windows there where you can just peek out and see the, the back door. And so I did that and I saw nobody. And she's like, Nate, go get your gun. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is that a free excuse to get my gun? <laughs> yes, please. So I didn't because there was nobody out there. So I'm looking around and I, I see nobody, right? But, you know, I'm half dazed. At the, you know, I'm like completely <laughs> out of it. Like just shambling or like a freaking dead zombie walking across the room. Like, I, I don't see anything. I don't even even care well it turns out that at least this is my theory so our storm door right is like completely broken it's just kind of like free flapping and so i'm assuming the door didn't i mean the door was locked so there's no way they could get in anyways i'm assuming like that flapped open like in the wind and shook the door and then shook so there's a our porch door, and then there's our. There's our, another door. There's another door that leads to the back, or that's the back door. And sometimes when there's like pressure differential, it'll fling open one of the doors, and that's kind of what happens. So that's why she thought somebody was breaking, and she said she heard the rustling and stuff. So, me being, it, I, I just walk outside. I'm just like, <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 who's out there? <laughs> Anyone there? Hey, so up? You out here? Hey, so up? Yeah, are you out there? No, if it was so humble, we'd hear the infamous like the. <laughs> which I did not hear that. So 
Anyways, I'm surprised I didn't get shanked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you but, out here? But yeah, there was nobody there. I didn't, there was nobody. You I don't want know some garlic ever... bread? <laughs> and she was just making <clears throat> garlic bread. One thirty in the morning, I'm like... I'll give you some garlic bread if you go away. <laughs> and of course, my dogs didn't do anything about it either. They didn't bark. Typically, when someone opens the door, there's, or gets, goes to the door, they'll be alerted, so... If I get in within a three mile radius, they start barking at me. Wait, no, yeah. If you're expecting a story like me having a, a fist fight with a burglar, yeah, that's not what happened. I thought you said a burger for a second. I'm like, why are you fist fighting a cheeseburger? <laughs> it's, it's too bad because I lost. <laughs> you should see the right hook on that thing. <laughs> see, Nate, you handled that very calmly, yet I remember a time on a. Oh, some, I handle it calmly some, because no, I was no. like. Passed out. Yeah. But I remember a time whenever you had just woken up and were very tired on a <laughs> seemingly short oh, bus. My goodness. <laughs> seemingly short and bus. I was also awake and Brian was asleep. <laughs> Brian, I, I have you know that I about murdered you that night. Like no joke. I, I looked at my pillow it's and right. I looked at Jeff and I'm like, Please stop me if I, if I do anything <laughs> irrational right now. <laughs> it's funny because I have no recollection of any of it. No, dude, I was like shouting. Like, I was like, <laughs> I, was I, I was really loud. <laughs> I was upset. <laughs> For anyone that didn't connect the dots, I, I was sleeping. Well, I don't think anyone could connect the dots other than the people. And I was there. very loud. I was snoring very loud. Yeah. And they were all in the bus, too. Oh, yeah, those dots, <clears throat> yeah. No, so basically, we were in Florida. We were vacationing. Yeah. And we took a bus. And we were <laughs> pretty very nice. Bus. Like most people do <laughs> pretty you nice know. buzz. Yeah, it, we it definitely Our pimped out. Sleeps three. Yeah, sleeps <laughs> can carry six. The other three have to sleep in a tent. Yeah, well, it sleeps three normal human beings. That's true. Who don't have the melatonin counts? Of, <laughs> like, I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know the the analogy I was going with there, but. I call Brian the melatonin man. Like, that's his superpower. This man could sleep through Einstein's nuclear bombing up True. in proximity to guitars. <laughs> to move opposite guitars. To move in the opposite of guitars. <laughs> like, this man could sleep through a hurricane. Hey, there's your, there's your hurricane. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> I asked for that so long ago. <laughs> Anyways. I was trying yeah, to hit the water so, bottle out of your hand. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. So yeah, that's how I almost murdered Brian. <laughs> nice. And also, the story before that is how Nate almost got murdered. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just a whole roundabout sequence there. So, all right, Brian, explain yourself. Why do you love K-pop so much? <laughs> I don't, Brian. Not I saw true. your I saw your YouTube history. Yeah, and I already explained it, but you felt the need to write it here so that I have to explain it again. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't so think you really I have to explain anything. The YouTube rabbit hole of K-pop. listening to music. K-pop specifically. No, yeah, what is K-pop, by the way? I couldn't tell you. Liar. Okay. <laughs> tell that to the seventy videos you watch. <laughs> true. <laughs> no. I, he admits it there, folks. All right. True. <laughs> they are all on my watch history. <laughs> Cut the camera. So I watched a Case video close. of a Siberian tribal funk band. And it was the weirdest thing I have ever watched in my life. And I watched three of their videos, and then I fell asleep. It doesn't even break the top 100 for me, Brian. That's true. I've but, seen some crazy stuff. But, um, it was, I, I fell asleep. And I woke up to realize that my phone had been auto playing music for the entire night. And you just didn't wake up? No, I slept I through lie. it. <laughs> I, sl- I slept through all of it. Brian, if they extracted the melatonin from your brain <laughs> and put it in pill form, we'd be billionaires. <laughs> but be it's in the process of sleeping in the process of sleeping through said music, it played like 40 K-pop songs in a row. It just went into an auto plane of K-pop songs to where my entire history is now a bunch of K-pop songs. <laughs> and uh, exactly and now our, our YouTube algorithm on my YouTube page that Jeff uses all the time. I use it too. <laughs> and is, is going to be all K-pop songs. Yeah. How do you think I got that recommended for me? Yeah. <laughs> the long game. 
This was Jeff playing me the entire time. Yeah. Yep. It's too Not easy. Hey, what are we doing after this? What? <laughs> yeah, what, what are we doing here? I don't know. Sean's been asking to go eat for hours. Jeff, nice. we hungry. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> we <laughs> want to play. <laughs> Jeff, we want to play Apex. Okay. So Jeff, that was all your like to play. Brian, you ended that story so abruptly. I didn't. I could, could even like. Well, that band was fire, though. The Siberian one. Yeah, I was like, I, I wanted to hear a little bit more about this, this band. We should vlog it in August of 2023 when they're in Chicago. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. man. They speak entirely a tribal Siberian language and Russian, so I have uh, no it, idea it, what anything it says. It would be Serbian, right? <laughs> oh, wait, what did I say? A Siberian language. Oh, yeah, you're right. It would, Which is Serbian. That would be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think it was Serbian. I think it was like a tribal language. Like it was a, uh, there was, they did also speak Serbian, but it started oh, so with a C. you don't think they're good enough, enough. to speak. No, that's not what <laughs> I said. Language. It started with a C. It was like an ancient tribal language because they, nice. they're from a village oh, okay. of 200 people. Was it Chinese? It was not Chinese. <laughs> Just because you mentioned an Asian sea. country, Jeff, doesn't mean you <laughs> automatically default to China, okay? <laughs> but it did start with a C. And I was going to say a CH, which still, oh, would, oh, it still okay. wouldn't have been a CHR. <laughs> no, it was a Y. <laughs> That's old, the old spelling. The old spelling. <laughs> old spelling. That's the, yes. The Mandarin uses a <laughs> the ancient character. Chinese spelling. <laughs> or derivative of Latin. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, come anyway, on. yeah, and then they had one. They had one that I didn't show Jeff, but I showed Nate. What the heck? Where they're standing on the ice in like, you know, the middle of winter, and they're like on the pushing a sled out there to record this video, and they got all these tribal instruments, <laughs> right? And they're just going and playing this song on these tribal instruments, and the lady's singing, and all of a sudden, there's this guy who hits like a. It's like a almost it's like a really hard synth note and he just has like a Yamaha um <laughs> electric arranger and just unplugged in the middle of the ice <laughs> and he just, he just hits a chord on it and oh, it's it like, so obvious that all of it's pre-recorded. Well, yeah, it's yeah. all pre-recorded. But yeah. I mean he's just sitting there in the middle of the ice and it just No, it's just this, fun. Uh, no, and I'm just like yeah. why is this instrument in with all of the other tribal <laughs> it's instruments? Awesome. It's just a ton of tribal instruments and like older ancient style instruments, like high like, drums, things like, like yeah, that. and, and like yeah. the and what is a couple that one, other, like guitar, a, like yeah, the it's like a Asian two string, it's like, it's like a, two, a one two, yeah, what are those two string guitar. Oh, man, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, I used like, to know, know what it was, but yeah, they had they had one of those, and then they had one of those that was made out of a skull of an animal. Yeah, it was real cool looking. And they were just playing all those, and then there's this this one guy playing a synth, and, then and you a guy see Yamaha, a large large man in the back sitting down throat singing. He's doing the Mongolian like Mon throat singing, and I'm like, this is the greatest video I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and there's like one guy in one of the videos. He's just literally creeping in the background yeah, the entire in time. In the song, we was we watched it with subtitles on. It's about a forest spirit, and they're calling for the forest spirit to come eat people. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and it has like this modern like vibe to it. Yeah. And then they're just seeing yeah. like I'm assuming these were like Well uh, that one that one had the lady that was vibing on the bass guitar. Yeah, she's there's a bass guitar just ringing. She's like, Meh. She she's has an shredding. electric bass, just shredding an electric bass, like bouncing. Easy. But anyway, yeah. music rabbit holes are cool. Ten out of ten. Do recommend. <laughs> Except if it leads you to K-pop for 70 videos and ruins your we'll algorithm. Link every single one of the K-pop videos Brian watched in the description. Many. So look out for that. Okay, they're, you could at least, you could at least, uh, you could at least link the Siberian group. You're right, we could do that. Check it out. I can't Especially remember what it is. I know, I know it starts with an O, but it's a word not in our language, so I don't know how to say it. Oh, man. But... Okay, so moving on. So today we want to help all the young men and women who are experiencing a transitional period in their life. And that transitional period, usually after high school, is obtaining or interviewing or applying, doing all that kind of, you know, they're looking for a new job, right? And so here at Lost in Thought, 
we want to help those individuals with their interview questions. We're here to help. So yeah, we're here to help. Jeff Wee's here to help. <laughs> and so today we're going to be inter- interviewing, or actually, we are not going to be interviewing anyone. We're going to be evaluating Brian and I, but Jeff is actually going to interview himself. It's perfect. So, I mean, no, nobody knows you better than you, right? That's... <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, that would preach. That would preach. What you learn here today, uh, we hope you take this and apply it to you, uh, your life so that you may be able to uh, crush those interviews while you're looking for a new job. I know we have a lot of college viewers, and I know that they're you know, going to be looking for new jobs soon. So we hope you take this to heart. So, all right, Jeff. What's your first right. job interview question? Um, let's see. Now hey, you go back to oh, your regular. Those are tips. You gotta go back to the job interview seat. <laughs> what? No, you, you, you gotta move forth. back over here. You gotta go back and forth. <laughs> back and forth. This chair is more comfortable. But that's the it's... point, because then you ask yourself the question. But, well, there's a hundred. <laughs> You're oh not doing God. all a hundred. <laughs> Just yeah. do number right. sixty-nine and call it good. Little. We'll do more than that. <laughs> well, yeah, but True. start there. One to sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, interviewee. So, let's see. Ret- Number one. <laughs> if you could be Batman or Robin, which would you be? A phenomenal right. qu- question, Jeff. It's a great question. Wow. <laughs> this one's easy, All right, actually. Jeff, what's your answer? You see, although Batman is legendary in and of himself, you always, the best superhero. you always want to go with Robin because I have something left to prove. Batman has kind of peaked already. I want the potential. I will work hard to get to where Batman's legacy left off. Dang. That was actually an incredible answer. <laughs> I would have picked Batman tens out, times out of ten, and my reasoning would have been because he's cool. Fair. That was a wonderful answer, Jeff. That was a great All answer. Right. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> what football team do you support, and why them? Oh, right, Jeff, what is it? <laughs> it's quite simple. Oh, wait, hold on. Where am I interviewing? Hmm. Where's the interviewing date? South Dakota. Four. Oh no. <laughs> Four. <laughs> South Dakota. They don't, don't have a rough. team. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> don't know the western side of the United States that well. <laughs> that is a horrible piece of information to tell your <laughs> interview. So let's say I don't know you're the United interviewing States. Interviewing in Indiana. <laughs> Hypothetically. Yeah. Hypothetically. You have I hate to, South Dakota. <laughs> no matter if it's true or not, it's whatever team is in your state or whatever is <laughs> closest to you. Always. It doesn't matter w- who they are. And the reason for it is loyalty. loyalty. I am loyal to this state and its no. team and your company. <laughs> or, or you could, you could or, also spin it. Just answer the New York Jets. That's true. I'm I'm loyal. I've been by their side. That's all, true. Uh, no that matter how loyalty. bad they are. It's like you know what? I don't watch football. The Bears. The Bears. At least they had some. But you got to be our age, and if you say the Bears, you're fine. If you're older and you say the Bears, they were actually good. Right. Then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which I guess Situation. you stuck around, so that would still make you loyal. Uh, I'm skipping the next one because I think the one after it's more funny. Why on earth are you here today? (laughs) Why on earth are you here today? Well, Jeff, we need money. (laughs) (laughs) Jeff, we need money. But you're interviewing at Tesla. That's a good question. You know what? I'd rather not be on earth right now. I'd rather be on Mars. I'm here today to help you get there, Elon. (laughs) Elon. They're like, sir, this is McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get there one day, David. <laughs> we'll be in Mars Under my direction, soon. with you by my side. <laughs> Together, we can rule the galaxy. <laughs> Together, we can. 
Wendy's won't know what's coming. <laughs> Who knows? Can I contain my potential? We're going to the solar system. <laughs> the Milky Way into the whatever the solar system is past the Milky Way. What is it? The one we know? Uh, what is that called? I'm blanking right now. Is it the Andromeda, Andromeda system? system? Oh, man. I pulled that from That's nowhere. That's right. Um, <laughs> I don't want to do what was the most traumatic experience to happen in your life because that may get too serious. <laughs> what would I find in your fridge yeah, right like now, Ed? What would I find in your fridge right now? I can say, what would you find? Because you're asking, tenders. you're asking Jeff. No, what would I find in your fridge? Yeah, oh, is that what it says? Oh, what would you? Okay, yeah, yeah. What would you find in your? Sorry, right? I cut you off before you said it. I yes. Didn't, yeah. What I just cut you off before right, you finished right. it. All good. Chicken tenders. Huh? <laughs> just answer. I'm gonna see if I'm right. What would be in my fridge? The passion to be great. Yes, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, actually, I would say, um, be you know, a knuckle I, sandwich I'm, puncher I'm, interview. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say something like, you know, I, I'm a very, you know, I'm a fruit guy. I eat a lot of fruit, apples, bananas, oranges, passion fruit. <laughs> Speaking of passion, <laughs> speaking of what I, what my passion is, is working hard. <laughs> you, know, you know what else you'd find? Every job I've applied for, Brian, by you would using find, these tactics. You would find some dragon fruit. <laughs> dragon. You know what I love doing? Dragon. These nuts. <laughs> Anyways, so anyway, perfect answer for that one. <laughs> Nailed it. Some fruit. <laughs> okay. Lead all the way to passion fruit. Nailed it. Go to 27. Sell me this glass of water. <laughs> hey, more on its plastic <laughs> bottle. <Yeah. laughs> True. Uh, is that actually my water? Dang it. Here. Oh. <laughs> I, I would say, look at your water right now. You're, half, you're less than half empty. You need another one. <laughs> you take it right now. <laughs> or else. I, and I will sell this to you for free plus four ninety nine shipping. Because <laughs> that's where you make money. Exactly. Jeffrey knows everything. And, of- and, and, and by can't. that, people think. See, it's it's a classic sales tactic. If I sell it for free. But plus $10 shipping, <laughs> they think they're getting a good deal. So the person interviewing me would obviously buy it every yeah, time. Yeah, they <laughs> they would think that, like, I didn't, you know, it's a classic tactic to get out of it. You can just sell it for free. But, I mean, they do have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. An entrepreneur in the making. Yeah, I know. All right. 27. Uh, 27. <laughs> How many balloons would fit in this room? Jeff, can you even... Huh? That's not 27. What? It's 26. Oh. That's fine. You can do that one, though. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm thrown off. <laughs> How many balloons? Right. How many balloons would fit in this room? Well, that's whenever you look at the interviewer... Right in their eye, you say, you think I'm going to fall for a stupid question <laughs> like that? You say one hot air balloon. <laughs> that's that's what I, I was one. thinking the exact <laughs> one said. uninflated hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would actually go a different direction. I'd be like, you really think I'm stupid enough to think that I need the balloons aired up? Really? <laughs> I, I could fit... Three million balloons <laughs> in here. You know what? Uninflated. What of waste of plastic? Yeah. You're polluting the environment by pr- procuring all of these balloons. Yeah. Why would to I fit f- in this fill room? In this room with Why balloons? would I ever harm the environment in that way? To just answer this s- superfluous question, like it, it, it means nothing. The job. This is inconsequential. <laughs> I actually hate that question. <laughs> the job is, <laughs> the job, job is for a landfill. The job is for a landfill. The job is for job is for a balloon manufacturing <laughs> company. I just want to know the, how to optimize our storage space. <laughs> yeah, the, no, yeah. If, they, if I was applying to be work at balloon manufacturer and they asked me that and they said, I was just wondering about storage space, it would be like, I just told you. 
uninflate the balloons, you could fit more. <laughs> you could fit more. <laughs> Stop blowing up the <laughs> balloons. <laughs> How do they even make it there before you ship? <laughs> Yeah, like, what kind of they, business model is this? Do they untie them and then like put them back in the packaging? Or what, what's going on? Here? Why do you guys keep doing it like this? Dang, that's a good point. I told you that when I quit here two years ago. <laughs> okay, um, number sixty-nine. Which ancient place would you like to go? Hmm. Ancient place. Ancient place. Ancient. That's I'd a like to go house. To, I'd like to go to ancient Sugan. <laughs> well, the and, and this Sugan is where nobody heard my, your mom. <laughs> I heard it. This is where you use the tactic. What, you didn't laugh? <laughs> I did. Well, and I was going to make a Sugan joke at the same this time. This is important. Em- employers are actually more than okay with this. Say, yeah, just give me a second to think about it. Bitch. <laughs> oh, one second. Just give me. No, three. no, no, no! One second. <laughs> you just start crying. <laughs> you just like ball. One second. And then, once you finally collected yourself, <laughs> I don't know. This <laughs> 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 is pretty cool. <laughs> I really couldn't say. <laughs> the Roman but, I know where I, nice. but I know where I'd like to be in 10 years. Right here. <laughs> at this job. <laughs> this is McDonald's. No one wants to be here in 10 years. <laughs> I will run Bloomington McDonald's. Hey, man, they start at $15 an hour. That's pretty good. Hey, like that 16 overnight now. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Goodness. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> They got benefits? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. What about... What would you like to ask from the god? <laughs> that is what it says. The god? The one from the god. That's the true. God. It is singular. Wow, this is kind of based. <laughs> is kind Monotheistic? Of... Yeah. <laughs> Monotheistic wow. website. <laughs> How would you react if you're transformed into a fish? I'd be like... What? <laughs> what? What is? Wait, why do you think Charles Chaplin is famous? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of question is that? So Jeff, why do you think Charles? Chaplin? Yeah, for real. What would you do when you have learned that your boat is out of oil? You learn. <laughs> Put it says more learned. Oil in There's it. no shot. Wait, where it's is that? Which one is 67. that? Sixty-seven. Says learned. Is that actually proper? Yeah. Is it's that proper? proper? Somebody call Lily. She'd know. Hey, Lily, is this an infinitive? <laughs> is this an infinitive? <laughs> Do you like Jerry or Tom? <laughs> what were the causes of the First World War? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, Jeff, so what were the causes of the First World War? Hey, they got cocky. They need to be put back in their place. <laughs> uh, could you elaborate? <laughs> that's all I would like to say. <laughs> <laughs> they got cocky. <laughs> oh no! Didn't like they assa- try to assassinate they, some? No, prince they did dude. assassinate. Oh, yeah. they did. They pulled an it archduke. Off. <laughs> the the yeah, archduke. Ferdinand. Ferdinand. I knew it was yeah. Ferdinand. I can remember the arch. I don't know what it was. Like prince of archduke or I don't know or uh, Ferdinand. I don't know. Yeah. And then like the entire remember. world was like, "Hey, how about we all beat up on <laughs> Germany?" <laughs> <laughs> Man, it looks kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> and and now that, now that we beat them. Hey, how about you pay us back for the next 60 years? <laughs> <laughs> and your economy can't regrow. <laughs> yeah, Russia. Yeah, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I think you should continue carrying the wheelbarrows of money to go buy a loaf of bread, and that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Insert Hitler and Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I guess, like, I guess we gotta do it again. <laughs> uh, Round two. Round two. Insert Putin and... I guess Germany's all right now. <laughs> So, Brian, who would win a battle between a ninja and a pirate? <laughs> well, who's the, are we talking like Jack Sparrow pirate? Oh, I didn't, I don't know. If we're talking ninja, what kind of ninja are we talking about then? Talking like, what's a, what's a famous ninja kind of 
Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan versus Jackie Chan. He's not a ninja. <laughs> he is an actor that kind plays of. a ninja. Yeah. Does he Jackie play a ninja? Chan, Jack Sparrow. I don't, know. Wins. I don't know if he plays a ninja. 1v1. Anything. Jackie Chan I mean, he's a or Jack Sparrow? Kung Fu. <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> Five rounds. <laughs> Five rounds. Do we Are we using weapons or... Pirates have weapons. Ninjas have weapons. Yeah. Yeah, weapons are in. Jack Sparrow. Why Jack Sparrow? Defend your stance. Wait. Isn't he, like, cursed? That's true. He can't die. <laughs> no, he... after the curse he... is broken. Oh, after the curse has been lifted. Yeah. Uh, that could Chan... Jackie Chan would put up a real Just good regu- fight. Regular and Jack, Jack Sparrow, Sparrow is a drunk. <laughs> so, I mean... I don't know. Brian, I'm going to need an answer. You could argue Jack Sparrow did almost everything Brian, in those you movies. Said, true, he did. The one thing you <laughs> no, should I'm going never back. I'm say going back in an on interview. Jack Sparrow. I don't Chan. know. I'm, no, I mean, I'm going back. I'm staying with Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Sorry. But why? Because I believe in him. That okay, man gets that's... out of every situation. Of course. Because She's I believe American in him. Looking. <laughs> I did. You're right. Because I believe in him. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> well, we don't believe in you. <laughs> you can go ahead and walk right out now. <laughs> I would pick Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pick Jack Sparrow. That's kind of base. But well, you're fired. <laughs> but you're fired. <laughs> All right. Um, well, can you describe an atom? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's about 5'11". Is... <laughs> scraggly beard. <laughs> dark brown uh, hair. Dark all right. Let's see what else, what others we got. Well, Jeff, you got to ask the question, then go back oh, to your yeah. seat. Let's. No, I'm not asking myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Jeff has finished the job interview. Did you get the job? Yeah, I got the job. Oh, okay. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> it's too easy. Yeah. Didn't even have to answer a question. He had a job as soon as he walked in. I mean, he's that handsome. <laughs> um, Brian or Nate, if both a taxi and a limo were priced the exact same, which would you choose? Dang. What? The exact same. What's the resale value on <laughs> on limos or taxis? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess with the taxi, you could incorporate. I mean, you could make money off of it. You, you I it's mean, a... you could reuse it, right? I mean, you could reuse the limo too. Yeah, I know, but you could reuse it as a bit. I guess you could also be a chauffeur for a limo. And typically, if you're a decent chauffeur, you know. And you're driving a limousine, you'll you get higher be your income. Own boss, you could be you could be your own boss, right? You'll probably make more money if, you know, if it's if it's good enough company, you know. Is a but you know that, what kind of gas <laughs> mileage does a limo get? I don't know. That's true. Gas great. mileage. I'm sure taxi is probably more practical. You know, you're probably not getting up too much business around these areas with a limousine. You're probably not with a taxi. But long story <laughs> short, I don't care about that. I just want to know if I could r- ramp a limo. Through a flaming ring of fire. You're right. See, the <laughs> this issue, is the correct answer. <laughs> the issue with that is, and though, how many rings of fire I can jump through with a limo. And you, you got to hit <laughs> with a limo because of how long it is. Though you can't lose know. too much acceleration <laughs> through the ring, or you drop down too far. far fast. No, you that's, gotta keep, still be going. Yeah, a lot more force is required. Yeah, nitro boost, nitrous boost that baby. <laughs> And I'm thinking, like, a limo in a, in a demo derby would be awesome. I would pay to see that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you know, we could take this down the road and freaking race day. it. Race it, it, it is race, race day. day. It is race day. It's race day. Did, had it filled up yet when you were there? It uh, was pretty it was, empty when it I saw it today. It was still kind of empty. I know. I wondered if it's a smaller race today, because, like, two weeks ago, it was packed, it's like, probably, all the way out to the other road. Thinking the financial factors, wow. the potential, you know, job applications like after the fact where you know you could make a business with either or a limo or a taxi you know weighing those options you know a limo would be pretty cool launching through a flaming ring of fire taking to a demo dermy i think i would go with a, a honda civic all right <laughs> <laughs> a used honda civic um, I use honda civic pretty good. let's see brian what is the probability of throwing eleven or over and over with two dice? What? <laughs> what kind 11? of a question is that? <laughs> Why is this a job interview question? Rolling eleven? Well just think or about higher. it. Just, just think about it. What's the probability? 
No idea. That okay, is the just, job uh, question that if I'm required to answer that, I'm standing okay, just, up and just walking think, out. Just, 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 just think about this for a second. What, what's, what's the maximum you can roll with two die? <laughs> Tw- uh, is it 12? Yeah. Right. 11 or over. Which is 11 and 12. So... Are we talking like 2 and 12? How does uh, that work? I didn't take a single so probability. So six, <laughs> six options on both dies. I ain't got a clue. Don't uh, look at I'm me pretty, like, I'm, like I'm, I'm trying to answer sure this. You, so there's 36 different outcomes then, right? Is that how that works, Nate? Is there 36 different outcomes with two? With two dies. But to get 11 or over? Yeah. So two outcomes is 11 yeah. or over. 36. So two out of 36. One out of 18. So one eighteen, one out of every 18 tries. I would have never got there. I would have stood up and I, walked out of the interview before I answered. Uh, well, dang, you put me on the spot. All right, now we got to spend the last <laughs> how so many minutes a, discussing how it works. Or, wait, hold on. Let me read the question again. What is it? Somebody in the over. comments explain this to us. So yeah, so you have to roll, with the first die, you'd have to roll a five or higher. Yes. Yeah, and the other one has to be a six. And the other one has to be a six. So there's a what two and two and six probability that you get right two and six probability that you get a five or a six right one and six on and the one other and six one. on the other so it is a two and thirty six correct that's what and I divide said. those by two right. one and eighteen it's yeah, one and eighteen that's what, that's, that's what yeah. Yeah, yeah that's just an absolutely gigantic brain I, over I, this well, chip. You got the job. <laughs> I, just didn't, I just didn't know if they no. included if it was eleven or over, or if it was just. No, I got you. So, there we go. That's how, that's how you do the math there you in go, your head. Ryan, remember that for your next job interview. I'm sure that they'll ask that question. <laughs> yep. Um, Nate, if you if I put you in a sealed room with a phone that had no dial tone, how would you fix it? <laughs> 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 Read that question one more now time. You're an engineer. You better if be able to fix it. You're in a sealed room with a phone that has no dial tone. How would you fix it? With the no dial in a room, a sealed room <laughs> with no dial tone. With a phone with no dial tone, how do you fix it? I mean, what kind of phone we're talking about here? One that needs a dial tone. Um, yeah, I would say like an old rotary. Like <laughs> an old rotary phone. Oh my god. It's got no goodness. dial tone. How are you getting it? How are you fixing it? Mm. <laughs> Room's <What>? completely sealed. <laughs> why, does it, why does the room have to be sealed? <laughs> like you're just in a room with a dial phone and it has no ring to it. It is a complete concrete room and there is one rotary phone in the middle and it doesn't connect to anything. You are currently in Brian's basement. <laughs> yeah, the cellar. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> I need I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help, step brother. Help. So well, yeah, okay. So we're, in, we're we're sealed, right? There's no. So you you can't. There's no dial tone, right? You can't. You, I mean, it's it's a rotary <laughs> phone, right? Yeah. Well, first off, I would Yell look and loudly. See, see if it's plugged in or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You could call. Try calling nine one one. I guess I don't know. That's true. I mean, how would you? Fit? I mean, you have no no <laughs> right. option. You're you're in a sealed room. Like I don't understand why you have to be the se- like you're completely shut off from. <laughs> Anyone, there's no escape, no nothing. Quite frankly, I just pulled my phone out and <laughs> yes, I was gonna say, <laughs> I just used my cell phone. Just use my cell phone. <laughs> just take reverse engineer it. Goodness. <laughs> I would take my cell phone out, not get on Google. I would just smash it open and be like, all right, how does this thing work? How does this thing work? <laughs> just give it the goal reverse engineering. Yeah. <laughs> well, do we see? <laughs> All right, here we go. Brian, are your parents disappointed with your career <laughs> aspirations? <laughs> Why would they ask that? Why would you ever <laughs> ask a that in a job interview, interview? Looking for a different career. So you're an interviewer who is in the career that you're trying to apply into. Yeah. Is going to sit down and be like, hey, are your parents disappointed in your job aspirations? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, so it kind of suck. I don't think so Brian, this is my last option. That? I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel like you do answer that question if you're in a job interview. You might want to walk out of that job interview. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Brian. 
The last two answers you've had have been walk out. What if they stopped asking stupid questions? <laughs> No, the one I was walking out because I was too stupid to figure out <laughs> the math one, on that. Too stupid. This one is like, this is a question that I don't know that you're allowed to ask in a job interview. That's true. What gender do you, are you? <laughs> oh, no. You can't say that uh, anymore. Nate, how would you move Mount Fuji? <laughs> That's a very good question. How would you move Mount Fuji? So, if you would like to open up your Bibles, <laughs> there is a, a, a verse in there particular pertaining to faith as small as a mustard, mustard seed is enough to move a mountain. That's paraphrased, of course, but, you know, my faith in Jesus Christ allows me to do, you know, very, very, you know, monumentous, if you will, or mount umentous <laughs> <laughs> feats with faith as small as a mustard seed. See, and now they can't... Uh, Based. It's perfect. What's the word I'm looking for? Discriminate? They Discri can't discriminate because of religion. religion. Yep. That's not allowed. Get played. But if I were actually doing <laughs> I'd just I'm... push it. I, we would, <laughs> let's pick it up and push it over there. I'll call it my home. We'll take the, home with the whole town, just like they did in SpongeBob. Nuclear weapons are always an option. And we'll push the <laughs> whole town, the you know, whole mountain, in this case. Base of, you know, just split an atom at the base of so the... So if you take a mountain, right, if you look at this philosophically here, and we take one part of the mountain and deconstruct it, and then rebuild the mountain on the other side, is it still the same mountain? <laughs> oh my oh. goodness, that's a good point. So, if, so it's taking a one piece of the mountain... We bomb the okay. mountain and rebuild it. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian... With the remains your from the last previous Your question... Mountain. What are five uncommon uses of a brick, not including building, layering, or a paperweight? Wait, first off, who uses a brick as a paperweight? <laughs> <laughs> True. Throwing it through windows when you're mad at something. There you go. That's a good one. Solid. A weapon. Yep. Yep. Um, Brian, why are they so two. hostile? <laughs> uh, they I don't know took, they you took away all the good <laughs> ones. <killing> somebody. <laughs> <laughs> they took away all the good are answers. To, can we, we have two? We need three. Uh, I don't know if we, we want play, a, a we play some, <laughs> We can play some football. What? <laughs> it's going to be the football. Okay. You said, I, you said they were going to do violent. I went back. We're, we're not violent anymore. Got three. <laughs> football is one of the most violent sports you could possibly play. Uh, what else can we do with a brick? Hmm. Brian, we is just did it. it. Literally. What? Like Brian, we need two more. What, we out just there? did it like He said I couldn't layer it. Yeah, no building, layering, or paperweights. Yeah. See, that was in the building and layering. Yeah. So I have oh, to think of okay. I'm thinking Sorry. of five alternate uses. I've only got three. I yep. thought it said in control I guess that would technically be construction, um, but never mind. What'd you use a brick for? Oh, okay. My, it still applies. It is something we did. We used the campfire the other day. What did we use it for? I don't remember using anything for other than the pavement. Yes, actually, one particular individual. Was it me? No. Oh. Uh, it was the the little child. Oh, actually, she used it as a seat. Yep. Yep. Seat. Or um, what else we got? I used one as a cup holder. There we go. Five. It's five. five. Just All set right. my cup on top of it so and it was a flat surface. <laughs> All right. Or Nate, two of them. Last question of the day. If you saw someone steal a, a tin of beans in Tesco, would you report it? What the I heck? I mean, <laughs> being the vigilante that I am. <laughs> I would take that man down. <laughs> Nate chose Batman. Yeah, right? I, was about to say <laughs> <it> chose Batman. <laughs> I may not be the hero that everyone wants, but I am the hero that we need. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Interview over. Both of you weren't hired. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right. I shoved that can of beans so far up that dude. <laughs> <laughs> All for nothing. Sweet. Did all that for nothing. All right. All right, now, Brian, what is the probability that you roll a five <laughs> or a six? 
Give him two dies. What an 18. <laughs> nope. Wait, a five and a six? Oh, I thought, you were, I thought we were just asking the same question from earlier. No. Okay, Brian, if you roll a die, what is the probability that you land on a one? Uh, what land in, on a what? One. A one. one and yeah. six. Yep. There we go. He got it. <laughs> I'm a probability master. Now, if you have a deck of 52 cards. Oh, no. And you were to draw a two and a three, what is the probability that the next three you remain as you draw from the deck is a straight? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your answers down in the comments below. <laughs> anyone, anyone got any answers? Put but, them there. <laughs> All right, so we'll Eric pin, will pin the correct comment. Is a moron. He's, he's actively avoiding us. So he literally wanna... texted me and said, "Hey, I don't mess with those guys, <laughs> Brian and Nate anymore. I'm sorry, I can't make it." <laughs> Man, he made so a I pretty him. made a pretty cool piano, though. He did make a pretty cool piano. I will. Huh? However, he did refurbish. It. I'm going to go jam on that thing. We will be reaching out to his fiance soon. To come on the show. Come on the come podcast. On he comes so, with. Hopefully Janessa, not. We don't that. have enough mics. Next time. True. Janessa, next time. Bring your own mic. Yep. You're on. So, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed what we talked about today. And if you did, make sure to, to like and subscribe. Not only that, Jeff, could you also show them what they should be doing if they want to be notified of our upcoming uploads? You should do this. And upload. I always do that every time. <laughs> Dong. Dong. That's right. Talk Hit that bell. notification bell. So we should really do this at the beginning of the video too. We've talked about that almost every time. Yeah, but we forget. Yeah, yeah I definitely did say that one time, and then just repeatedly. Whoops. Don't do it. So, anyway, so. Oh well. Ring the bell. We hope you enjoyed the show. Dong. And with that being said, peace. Goodbye.